All right, everybody, we are looking at the T-Mobile G1, but it has different software on it. This is the software from the HTC Hero as hacked together by Hakuro from XDA Devs. So this is brand new. It's actually, I don't know how the guy got it, but uh, and, and he can't service it, but he's taken the actual software that will be on the HTC Hero and ported it over to the T-Mobile G1. So uh, he's taken us, you know, through some of the features. You can see the icons are a little bit different. Uh, here's the calendar, Google Calendar. Looks pretty nice. Looks like some of the stuff on the status bar is uh, a little bit different too. Here's a look at the music controls and the music players. It has a really neat way to filter and look at albums and artists and whatnot. You can see it's clearly organized, uh, scrolling up and down. And at the bottom there, uh, this is artists now or actual song titles. But at the bottom, you can scroll left and right through some of the options in that black bar. So you can look at playlists and genres and songs and stuff like that. back to the home screen you can see there's the music playing widget so this is uh... it, it looks like this is cupcake it says in the phone info that it's based on 1.5 so it is cupcake it's just cupcake custom built for the HTC Hero being used and viewed on the G1 see that status bar at the bottom that shows you how close the web page is to being loaded here's the menu bar you can see there's a full screen option here so it instantly puts the uh, window full screen and you can press a little plus and open a new window menu bar again and look at the windows and you can flip through them and actually just swipe across and look at the windows that way which is pretty cool X a window out and it brings the one behind it back. Click on it and you're viewing that one. So that's a pretty cool feature. I don't see anything else too new. The browser looks like that's a new, uh, yeah, that is a new browsing icon. Personalize. Um, is on there and you can see there's lifestyles, home wallpaper, lock screen wallpaper and default ringtone that, so that personalized option is new and then if you look at the very bottom there you can see social network which I'm interested to see how it is now I haven't played with cupcake at all so I'm not sure if this is stuff that's only new for the hero or new to cupcake or what I'm sure you all can let me know in the comments But now he's going to go in and I think he. One thing I forgot to mention is there's a HTC sync option that you can see earlier in the video. I forgot to point it out. Um, but it looks like that will be the HTC sync uh, will be on the HTC Hero. and there's the social networks he's gonna click on and right now in there he has Facebook and Twitter I'm not sure what the real purpose if this is a place to centralize all your social networks um, there's Flickr in there too and it says not logged in to any of them I'm I'm curious as to how that's gonna work with the third-party applications um, but that would be a great place to centralize all your logins. So you can see uh, here, you can see model number HEC Hero 1.5, and the build number looks like it was done May 6th for HTC Generic Hero. So clearly, this is a new build number, and it's for the HTC Hero, and it was ported to the T Mobile G1. Some cool new stuff. I'm sure we'll get more information about this as we take a closer look at uh, this software as it compares the to cupcake build on the existing devices and the G1. So thanks everybody for watching, but really you should thank Hikuro from XDA Devs and I'll post his Twitter info as well. Thanks everyone. Take care.